And we're pleased to welcome two-time Olympic gold medalist and Hockey Hall of Famer Jerome McGinley to the show. Jerome, as the games get underway in Beijing, we can't help but think back on one of the most iconic hockey moments in Canadian history when you set up Sid for the winter in Vancouver. How long did it take for you to realize just how big that moment would become in hockey lore? Oh, it, uh, it, it, was, it was really special. It was really cool to be a part of it. And it was like, um, right then, it was, it was so neat. It was, it, as an athlete and hockey player in Canada, I mean, at that moment, you, you dream of those things, getting to be on the ice, that much pressure, but it going the right way. It was so cool. It was like literally Pee Wee jumping up and down and excitement, relief, and, um, you know, just to be just to be on the team was, was such a huge honor. But it was true, you know, just to, it was a lot of fun to be on the ice and get to throw our gloves around and all that stuff. So it, it was awesome. Great to see uh, Sid. I remember him screaming for it and just not even really seeing it go in, but just the roar and all that. It, it was awesome. Your first Olympic experience came in 2002, and afterwards you were never the same player again. Now circumstances mean there are going to be a lot of first-timers at this year's Olympic roster, and they only found out a couple of weeks ago. What do you think is going through the minds of these first-timers right now? Well, I, I can't imagine how much excitement. It, it's so such a great honor to be a part of Team Canada, and uh, each, each time you learn so much, deal with those pressures, but also the, just the, an Olympics is, is so special to get to go to. Uh, I'm excited for them, and it definitely brings back a lot of memories, and I'm Really looking forward to, to watching with my family. The pandemic not only knocked NHLers out of these Olympics, it hurt the game at every level, including minor hockey. With that in mind, you've teamed up with the Hockey Canada Foundation Assist Fund. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's a, it's a great program. It's about getting kids involved in hockey. And through COVID, um, you know, it's, it, it was harder to be a part of it, the costs. Um, but also afterwards, just a registration. You know, families can sign up. Um, and uh, if they're with a registered uh, Canadian program, uh, receive even that $500 per kid, uh, which can go a long way in helping them be a part of the game. It's an amazing game. You can donate 100% of proceeds go to uh, the assist fund. HockeyCanada.ca slash assist fund uh, for families that want to sign up and, and uh, see if you qualify. It's awesome. It's a great game to be a part of, and it's a really good program. You were just inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame just a couple of months ago. A great time to pause and reflect. And now another opportunity to stop and take stock as we head into Black History Month. Where do your thoughts take you personally at this time? Well, I, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a very important month. And I believe, um, you know, I think it's special that uh, it, it, with Black History, um, you know, to celebrate uh, icons and, and people that... Uh, also, stories that you don't hear about all the time. It's very informational for young guys. So I, I, I think it's a great month and important. Jerome, thank you for your thoughts. We appreciate you taking the time to join us. Thanks, Gino.